What is up, Priest Planet? It is the Tarot Priest back with another Pick a Card reading. In today's Pick a Card reading, we're going to be doing the top voted video that you guys suggested in the community tab, which is why can I let go of this person? If you're wondering why the hell can I not let go of this person? It might have been months, it might have been years, and you're still questioning why the hell can I not get rid of this person? Why are they still on my mind? Why is it so hard to let go? We're going to be looking at that. So when you guys are picking your card, make sure you're thinking about the person that you feel like you cannot let go of. It's Leo season, as we all know. How could we not know? Because Leos are extremely dramatic when it's Leo season. So happy birthday, Leos. Before I get started, I just want to let you guys know that I am doing a monthly 30-minute sale. So if you guys are interested in a personal reading, now would be the time to grab that. All of the people who have been booking this week, it's been awesome being able to be a part of your guys' life and guide you guys along your journey. Also, I will be doing a tarot online course for those people who are interested in learning how to do tarot. If you are, the instructions are also in the description box below. So if you guys want to be a supporter, you can support me on Patreon and become a part of the community. That is also in the description box below. I will be doing special readings for Patreon account members. Last but not least, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell. Click the bell for notifications because I will be doing live Q&As and you don't want to miss that. So let's get started. All right, so we have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. Remember guys, when you guys are choosing these decks, go with what your heart is suggesting. You will feel a slight pull towards the deck you should be uh, looking at. So without further ado, let's get into deck number one. All right, if you chose deck number one, this is your reading. Don't forget to check the description box below for information about personal readings, monthly specials, learning tarot, and becoming a Patreon member. So let's see what you guys have for number one. We're going to be doing the general energy. Uh, this will be your general energy. So romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. We're going to leave this card out and we're going to start with these three cards. All right. Okay. Let's start with these three and let me just break them down based on what I have. So for the overall energy, we do have romance. So you guys may have had romance uh, with this person or feel, felt very connected to this person in a very intimate way, not just sexual. Um, but what I'm also getting though is, wow, this relationship is intense. Like I can already feel the energy. Also, I feel like somebody had to make a decision and somebody walked away and that left another person heartbroken. Again, if you guys are, you know, reading this or picking, cho choosing this deck, I want you guys to understand that this could be your energy and this can be their energy. So just take what resonates with you. Um, but I also feel like you guys did have uh, a deep connection. However, somebody questioned that. Somebody wasn't aware of the, the connection. So, when I say that, I feel like there is a deep connection, but only one person in the group was able to recognize that this would be a, a deep connection. You might have also got the idea that this person could be a soulmate. And I feel like we're going to clarify that today, but you guys definitely do have a connection. Whoever this person is, was brought to you for a reason. I feel like also to love yourself and i feel like if they walked away from you it would it's a way bigger picture here and it's not just about the relationship it's about a bigger message here and i know i know wow love yourself how many times do we have to hear that it gets kind of old right but i feel like whatever you believe the universe higher self spiritual self has brought you two together for a way bigger purpose. And so if they did leave you, it is for you to learn how to love yourself and care for yourself. I see that you put in a lot of love towards this person. And I feel like they kind of, they weren't aware of that. And that's because this person was specifically divine for you so that you can learn how to love and heal yourself. 
So it's not a bad lesson. It's just that when the right person does come, you want to make sure that this lesson is learned before they do come in. I also feel like this could be hindering the next person from coming in. This, this person, as far as not letting them go, is hindering you from meeting your soulmate. So I don't feel like this person is a soulmate. Again, I'm going to pull cards for the rest of the, for the rest of this deck. But as far as what I'm getting right here is I feel like they, you thought they were a soulmate, but it gets better. Like I see that this is going to get better and the overall energy for you. I feel like Cupid arrow is trying to strike. However, you're still stuck on this person. So why can't you let go of them just with these three cards? And I'm going to again, clarify it's because they were a lesson. They were teaching you how to love yourself, how to walk away, how to say no, how to have self-worth, how to stand your ground. Um, I do feel like for most of you guys, this person did walk away or make a decision, um, make a decision to leave. And I also feel like the relationship was not balanced. Obviously this is a past person because you're hurt. Um, you're still hurt over it and you've yet to heal. That's what's hindering from romance from coming in. So yeah, you guys have romance, but I feel like it gets better than this. However, you're so stuck on this person, um, and that means if you're still stuck on them, you're not learning the lesson of self-love, self-care. And what I mean by that is not like, oh, I love myself. I'm taking myself to the movies. It's much deeper than that. It's loving yourself enough to know that there is somebody out there that will be able to reciprocate this love for you. And this person is just not in the place to do it. I always tell people either you have to evolve, that person has to evolve on the same level you are, or you have to downgrade and go to a more egotistical point of view, which is being a doormat. In some cases, it's like, you know, for it to work, you'd have to stoop down to their level. And that would mean that you don't love yourself enough to know, hey, I loved you and it sucks that you couldn't see that, but I'm letting you go. I feel like this person has already moved on too. Like they have already moved on. You're the person that's kind of dwelling. Anyways, let me get into the next, um, next cards because I have hella cards for this reading and I just, I already feel the energy. All right. So this card had, uh, this deck had a few cards that flew out. So the full card, again, you're not wanting to take a risk on love because of this person. Like you may have started dating, you may have talked about dating, but for some reason you're still thinking about this person and it's because there is a lesson, a cycle here. And also the lesson why you can't let go of this person is because you are not open to taking a risk on love. I feel like this person kind of made you doubt love and be afraid of it and have fear about it. And with the fool card it being the zero, it's like you don't see the infinite possibilities that, that there is. One more card. Yeah, for sure. This, you can't let go of this person because there's a lesson here. <laughs> there's a lesson here, one. Number two, somebody wants to freaking love you. L when you let this person go, everything is gonna shift in your life. Like I just see like so much beauty coming to you once you're able to do that, but you're still healing. Some of you guys could have broken up like a year or more so ago. Like this is a deep wound that you keep trying to put a bandaid on, but it needs to be healed. Uh, with the temperance card here too, is you avoiding yourself, you avoiding reconciliation with yourself, finding yourself. And, and this is part of the loving yourself as well as like loving yourself with this temperance card, but reconciliation with self. What do you want? What do you love? You kind of lost yourself in this relationship with this person. And, and again, it's like, yes, of course they cared, but they're moved on. Like, I feel like that they're moved on. We're going to clarify that. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. You have to take a risk and meaning risk is letting go. What is the, you have to ask yourself, what's the worst thing that can happen when I let this person go? And a lot of you fear that you won't be able to love like you were able to love this person. Like why well, even feel this, what I felt for this person? And that's not true. That is a fear that you have to get rid of. All right. We have more cards. Yeah, you carrying this is a burden. It is stopping so much in your life. It's stopping creative flow. 
It's stopping opportunities. It's, start, it's stopping a better um, life for you. Ten of Wands, this is also like, you see they're carrying all this weight, but it's also burdenings and endings. Ten represents a completion ending. Like you're getting ready to, you're getting close. I can feel that you're getting close with this card, but understanding carrying this pain and hurt from this person is only overbearing you. And that's why you can't let go of this person is because the universe or God is trying to get you to one, take a risk. Don't give up on love. We have the two of cups here. I feel like you're kind of doubting love because of this person. And, um, you know, you're heartbroken, but you're not taking a risk. And Cupid's arrow is trying to strike. <laughs> you have to be willing to take that risk and let go. This is also a card of letting go. Let it be done. Page of Wands, you might have not have heard from this person. Um, some of you, I feel like, because the Page of Wands is the card of messenger, as you see the little birdies telling him something, um, you may have not heard from this person, and that is also what's creating this heartache, is almost like, wow, I'm still stuck on you. You don't even care. Like, I don't even hear from you. Like, I'm not even really hearing from you. And if you are hearing from this person, it's like in breadcrumbs, like they're breadcrumbing you slightly leading you along but not wanting to give you the whole piece of bread and that's manipulative so you may not have heard from this person or communication has slowed down um and that's what i get also which is creating this but it's it's all in perfect divine timing everything like this is so good if you're here and you pick this deck i am very 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 excited for your journey because you have this fear of letting go and I can just literally feel right now your heart being healed. Like I can feel it. And I know this is a scary journey and I know I'm tapping into my life coaching. Sorry, but I can just feel this energy. And I'm telling you that everything is going to be okay. That every single thing that has happened is for a reason to get you to this point. And you are destined for great, great things. And I feel like you are connected to the purpose of love and healing. I honestly, truly feel that in my heart. Oh, wow. Yes, it is blocking your creative flow with the Queen of Wands. It is blocking uh, the things that you love to do. It is blocking you becoming yourself, becoming this queen. You could be a man or you could be a female. Remember, gender has no, uh, or the soul and the spirit has no gender. It's fluid. It is blocking you from becoming who you are. It is blocking your greatness. So yes, love is real. It still exists and it is going to happen for you. But to answer your question, why you can't let go of this person is because you have to learn how to love yourself. You have to learn how to detach and let go. And you have to also learn how to have faith in self and not so much this person. So this is, these are beautiful lessons that are going to help you grow and reconnect with yourself with the temperance card. You're getting ready to have a reconciliation with yourself and a great healing period. So let's see what your Oracle message is. This is in reverse. So all must have prizes trying to please everyone. Go figure, <sighs> go figure. All right, 13. While it seems like a lovely message, how wonderful for everyone to have won and to have prizes. There is a hidden shadow to this card. For there is no winning if all have won and there is no prize if all have acquired the same thing. In other words, there does not seem to have been a test of excellence here, merely an exercise which seems to have tested people. But at the end of the day, they will all get the same reward. This card can come to those who are tasked with evaluating the work of others and are trying to choose who has done well. It can come to parents, to teachers, and judges. This card can also come to those who wish to please everyone and do not wish to fall out of favor. Thus, they will proclaim that everyone has done very well and offer prizes to each and all to avoid the discomfort of true assessment. It is hard to have to decide, to make a choice, and to know to whom a victory belongs. It is challenging to be discerning. We often prefer to be like doo-doo, trying to make sure everyone is happy. When this card comes, consider <laughs> the, I'm sorry. I just, I don't understand why the word, I don't know. Doo-doo just makes me laugh. Anyways, yeah. So 
to, I guess that brings a more lighthearted conversation to this because this is a heavy energy. So yes, they said the word doo-doo. Okay. When this card comes, consider the choices you have before you. It is best to reward everyone in the same way, even if some have offered more than others. So this basically means trying to keep everyone happy, treating everyone as equals and rewarding those who have not done the work, playing nice, wanting to please, the inability to choose who or what is best for you. So when I think of this card based on your situation, it is basically saying that you deserve to win and you know, making them happy by giving this person what they want is also you trying to please people. And I feel like this is something that is going to help you along your way that you don't have to please everybody and that you should just focus on yourself and uh, work on healing and loving yourself because you deserve the prize. And you know, it's like either that you make them happy or you make you happy based on the situation. And I feel like this person has already moved on. And so what's important is that you focus on yourself. And I know that's painstaking. Wow, focus on myself. I always get this advice, but I'm telling you, um, it's gonna be a beautiful journey for deck number one. So if you did choose deck number one, don't forget to comment down below. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys have to say about this reading because I feel some great things coming on for you guys. So on to deck number two. All right, if you chose deck number two, this is your reading. Don't forget to check out the description box below for this month's sale for personal readings, my Patreon, and learning how to read tarot. All right, let's see what we got for deck number two. All right, the overall energy, you guys had two overall energies. All right, and again, when I choose these cards, I just want you guys to know, like, I don't, you know, plan it out. This is, this is what it is. Um, so, you know, we can call it a coincidence or we can just say that, you know, um, intuition is at hand. So these are your two overall energies, new beginnings. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with, with faith. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. I can already tell you that whoever this person is that you can't let go of, they're hindering you from a new beginning of possibilities and passionate dreams. All right, let's just see. All right, the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. All right, so right off the bat, I can already tell you that you guys are not together. There is no offer on the table. And you feel like, you feel passion with this person and you feel like you are drawn to this person in a passionate way. They may motivate you, they may inspire you to become a better person and there's contentment there. However, somebody is emotionally detached. It could be you or it could be them. And emotionally manipulative. So we have the two of wands again, so or the two of pentacles, the first deck out of two as well, um, which is just juggling. This person was juggling or they made a decision to walk away. You may have made the decision to walk away, um, but I feel like for some reason you're avoiding... Okay, what I'm getting with deck number two is that you are... I don't like to use the word denial, but you are slightly not aware of how much you really do care about this person. And so what I feel like it's doing is it's preventing you from letting go because you have not been honest with yourself about the fact that, you know, I love this person a lot, a lot. And I feel like I can't let them go and that's okay. It's okay that I love this person even though I don't feel like they uh, treated me with, with much kindness or whatever the case may be. But I do see that you do have passion for this person and you were content and you feel like you're content, but it is still in the sense of settling. So someone made the decision and I also feel like the emotions are slightly unbalanced here because we have pinnacle energy. So there was some commitment issues with this relationship. There was passion. I do feel like you guys were connected on a physical level for sure but I just don't feel like you were completely satisfied or the other person was completely satisfied. All right, let's confirm more cards because this one's... All right, yeah, somebody wasn't patient. 
somebody wasn't patient with this relationship, the Seven of Pentacles, um, or blocked with patience, weren't, they weren't allowing things to kind of unfold and take place. Also, I just feel like, you know, with all of the Pentacle energy uh, in the reverse, again, commitment issues, no foundation, on and off. Like, this doesn't seem like something that was like a long-term relationship. It could be for some of you, but I just feel like if it was a long term, it was on and off. But I do see on and off regardless with this relationship and why you can't let go of them. I feel like partially is just because you're not aware of how much you really do love this person. Um, but unfortunately, it's like, why do I love this person when they can't even give me the simplest things that I desire? Like, I'm not asking for much. Why is it that they can't, you know, just act right and do what I need them to do for us to make it work? Look at all this pinnacle energy. You guys might have had a house together. You guys could have had children. I don't I don't see children for a lot of you guys, but you guys could have lived together. Um, you could have had some type of foundation, building a business together, or had dreams that kind of coincided with each other. Uh, but for some reason, it's like, look at the, look at the cards. It's all pentacle energy. This is all earth energy and water. So there, there was kind of, there was kind of a good balance slightly, but again, I just feel like you cared about this you care about this person more than they care about you and it's it wasn't leading to anything i don't see this relationship going anywhere unfortunately um so why you can't let go of them i feel like yes of course there's some things to learn here but i feel like you're kind of i feel like you might have a fear of being alone uh because this type of energy i don't feel like is a good balance for a relationship Look at all this pentacle energy. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's insanity. Okay. So also with the nine of pentacles, I feel like things may have been moving slower than you wanted. Like I said, it's it wasn't really going anywhere. Um, I feel like you wanted it to go somewhere. There was a little bit of passion here. But emotionally, I feel like this person was emotionally blocked and also emotionally manipulative in a sense. Um... One more card. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Hmm. So I feel like the reason why you can't let this person go is it's a mental thing. I feel like, hmm, you could also... What I'm getting is it's like you feel like this person could be a a good potential partner, someone to settle down with, someone that has some stability, someone that can help you. But again, it's just, I don't, I see this as more of a exchange of business. Like maybe it looks good. Maybe you guys had a great foundation together. But this is all to free yourself mentally. You could have been with this person for some time. But with the Eight of Swords here, you could have definitely been dealing with an Earth sign. Let me just say that right off the bat. Because we have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Or you can be of that. But I just want you to understand that this relationship, there is no balance. There's, there's, there's not even enough emotion to sustain the relationship and there's not enough passion to sustain it. So the question is, why are you staying or why, why is it that you're still in this place? And, and what I come to is with the eight of swords is that you have to free yourself mentally by coming back and forth. I feel like you got, you feel like you guys could be a good, a good partnership or have something stable, but this person has commitment issues there was no stability. Somebody made a decision to walk away, um, trying to free themselves, and that could have been you. But I feel like this is all for you to have a new beginning. Yeah, I feel like this is a practical relationship. This relationship could have been based on material things. You know, maybe us together could have the nice house, the nice car, or maybe down the road. I feel like you have a vision of this person, of being with this person and making it work based on like 
how other people see you as well. You guys are a great couple, you know, that type of energy. But there was no patience and it was not a good investment. I, I feel like deck number two, if you guys really want a relationship that is founded on love and founded with some sort of emotion, that this person is not going to be it. And so you cannot let go of this person because you are mentally enslaved to some vision that you have of, you know, being afraid to be alone. I do feel like that's, that's part of it. But I also feel like you being afraid of losing things. You guys might have had your guys' fair share of arguments or loss um, because the Five of Pentacles is here. Uh, but the Ace of Pentacles, it could have been about money. Somebody could have not been financially stable and you could have been taking care of them. And I also see that is the case as well for deck number two. It, it was just a lot of uh, practical things. Like it, it wasn't really founded on love. And I feel like with you letting this person go, it's this lesson is all about mentally and you know freeing yourself freeing yourself from this relationship so that you can have your new beginning a new adventure um, and dreaming passionately so that's kind of what i get for you guys this is a very weird um type of energy because it's just so practical it, i mean if you would have asked me this doesn't even look like a love reading at all so you have to free yourself from this mentally i don't know why you why you're still, if you're taking care of this person or you were taking care of this person, they were using you. So putting yourself first, not allowing other people to take advantage of you and use you. They weren't being open about how they felt emotionally. Um, there was a little bit of passion, but nobody was patient. This person wasn't even patient enough to develop anything. They didn't want to really invest. And I feel like you lost a lot with this person. You lost a lot. You may have lost family, friends, isolating yourself from this person, whoever they are. They really just care about using you and being with you in a practical manner. And so letting this person go is all about mentally enslaved, like you're mentally enslaved to the vision and the idea of this person. And so with this card, the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available. Follow it with faith. I feel like, yes, of course, following it with faith, trusting your intuition, trusting your guidance that there is somebody out there that could, I mean, easily be able to um, coincide with the energy that you're desiring based off of this. Let's see what your guys' message is. You are rare and free. There are not many like you. Wow. Yes, free yourself. This is all about freeing yourself. This person came into your life so that you can learn how to detach and free yourself for the sake of more. So sometimes people will struggle to understand you. And when they have this trouble, they may well try to fit you into a box or another they are already familiar with. When you're not clearly one thing or the other, when you are a trailblazer, a rebel, and a free spirit, you are likely to meet with disapproval. And this is what happens to Alice when the flowers who know, who know just who they are cannot classify her. So I was just thinking right now while I was reading is this person definitely could have fit you, tried to mold you and be this person that you weren't because... With the pinnacle energy, it's like someone trying to make you into this practical person that you're not. You too are something of a rare wildflower. You are a nature child. You are free. You are an adventurous. You just won't behave in ways that others think are right. You may wish to live outside the rules and conventions of society and culture. You are inspired by being your own self and exploring your potential. You are unconventional, surprising, different, and people recognize this. Some will say you are wrong to be free or downplayed you as a weed, which the other flowers do to Alice, but others, like the sweet bud, will love you. Embrace your own rare qualities. Don't try to fit in. You'll be so frustrated and always quietly unhappy. If you get this card, you are struggling to find places where people accept you and where you feel you fit in. You must learn to embrace all that makes you different and become the very best you that you can possibly be. So if you chose deck number two, don't forget to comment down below. I'm interested in seeing what the hell this is about. Basically, you have a new beginning. And this past is just a piece of crap. Like, you deserve so much better than this. I, I can't even explain to you. Um, you know, you have to believe that you will be rewarded when you let go of this person. And that's what it's going to come down to. What you're willing to settle for and understanding that you are free and you can make the decision. And so, last but not least... Free yourself. Let's move on to deck number three. 
If you chose deck number three, this is your reading. Don't forget to check the description box below for booking a personal reading, learning tarot, or becoming a Patreon. All right, let's see. Here's the overall energy for you guys. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Oh, I can already tell you that this reading is going to be pretty epic. All right. Three of Cups in reverse. Judgment. King of Cups. All right. Already off the bat, we do have a lot of emotions. With the Three of Cups, you could, been, you could have been involved in a third party situation. They could have left you for somebody else or they could possibly be with somebody else. Also... Um, this person that you can't let go of could have had addictions uh, for a few of you guys parting addiction substance addictions That's because they're lost. Wow. I'm getting a lot of messages. Okay. Let me slow down. Okay You guys are both going through something um, with the judgment card you guys are both going through a transformation and this person was was you guys were completely divine to Go along the spiritual journey. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. This person is uh, avoiding it. They're avoiding it. And so they may, even right now, they may be going out a lot. They may be like partying a lot. They may be dating um, or drowning themselves in substances. But for some reason, you are on a different journey. So I feel like with you guys, you guys were moving along together, right? And then you guys just kind of departed in with your own ways because with the judgment card, it's causing you to look inside you're going through a beautiful transformation spiritually and you could not go through it with this person because they are not ready to go through this uh transformation you're getting ready to go if you haven't already you're getting ready to go through the transformation if you feel like you can't let go of this person it is solely because they're teaching you how to look inside yourself and also bringing you to this place of transformation and uh, spiritual awakening also someone was emotionally manipulative or emotionally detached or has went through childhood situations uh, wow this is a lot okay deck number three wow you guys are really challenging me today okay there's so many downloads for you guys all right somebody whether it's you or this person for a few of you have been dealing or have dealt with could be conscious but i feel like it's more subconsciously with uh, childhood issues from your father. So it's causing you to detach emotionally and not be as open as you could be. I feel like it might've been a problem in both in the relationship for both of you guys, healing this family uh, trauma, but also, you know, with these two cards being in the reverse, it's all bringing you here to the judgment place. So meeting this person is like pointing, pointing, pointing at yourself, pointing here, here, look inside, look inside, the answers are inside. And so the reason why you can't let go of this person is simply because they are here to help you along your journey to look inside yourself. And um, this person, I do feel like you guys had a lot of similarities. I don't know if you know that, but you guys kind of de dealt with relatively the same things, even in a uh, subconscious way. So this is all about your spiritual awakening to look inside and meet yourself and go through this transformation. If it was not for the pain or this person I don't feel like you would have been able to get to this point of judgment of um, transformation and spiritual awakening. So you can thank them for that. All right, let's see. We have one more card. Yeah, this this is bringing you back to your place of motivation, inspiration. Uh, for some reason, this person was a distraction or had distractive ways that was not supporting you becoming this queen of wands. Uh, again, you could be a male or a female, gender is fluid, but this is also teaching you how to become more of the person that you are meant to be which is this inspiring motivating creativity creative person you might be into music with the the harp here you may be into drawing or you may be into something such as like painting or something creative um, or you might like to make things out of nothing that's just these are just examples but for some reason there is so much more to you that you have been um, avoiding because this person was a distraction and could possibly still be if you're still thinking about them so um, yeah this is a beautiful spiritual awakening that you're getting ready to go through if you haven't already if you are on this video and you pick deck number three I'm telling you right now you're getting ready to go through a spiritual transformation and awakening even if you already have you wouldn't be on this video on this deck if you weren't 
So um, I'm honored to be able to talk to you guys directly and tell you that this person has been a great sense of motivator, even though it doesn't seem like it, um, to get you back to where you need to be and uh, become this person uh, that you were always meant to be. High priestess in reverse, absolutely. Not following your intuition, making a decision, finding it, uh, yeah. Wow, you have a huge, you have a huge calling on your life. I don't know who you are. <sighs> These readings are deep today, okay. Two, high priestess, uh, making a decision. Having this person, wow, wow. For some of you, is really bad into substances and partying. Like they just drown themselves, and they have this this issue with escapism. Like they do not deal with themselves. You are different. If you if you look at this, this is interesting. We have the judgment card, and we have the three of cups in the reverse. This is them. This is you, um, as far as the energy is concerned. But then we have the decision, right? Now you have to make a decision in which route you're going to take because. When you look at this card in the upright, we have the dark side and we have the light side. Not to say, you know, this person is dark, but a lot of the things they're doing is to avoid their higher their uh, higher self, their intuition. So with the high priestess here, this is, if you look on the card, right, she doesn't have eyes. There's a reason, because she relies on her intuition to guide her. And so this is the same thing with you. You um, have this gift of intuition. You might be a light worker or a healer in a wow, even with the queen of wands, like you have a gift. I don't know what the hell it is, but this person is bringing it out of you. If anything, you could heal this person and all their trauma, but I don't feel like right now you can do that because of the dynamics of the relationship, but you were brought to them to heal them. That's why you can't let go. Like, I don't feel like the, the cycle is over. And that's why it's like, look inside yourself, right? So you have yet to make a decision on if you're going to go this route and avoid yourself. And a lot of people, we resist meeting ourselves because of this person you know again they could have moved on with another person as well because it's three of cups um and wondering like why you're not good enough it's because you were too good they would have had to evolve to get to your level because at the pace that you are like once you start looking into yourself and transforming and going through this transformation and spiritual awakening they're not even going to recognize you they're going to be like who the hell is this so it's it's about making a decision to follow um, the physical uh, dynamics of, you know, ego or higher self and spiritual self. So this is really crazy. Like, wow. King of Swords, making the right decisions, making powerful decisions, mentally, clarity. I feel like this person was clouding your judgment of vision and thoughts. Uh, the King of Swords is somebody who is a leader, a visionary. And so that's also what you are. That's why I said you have a huge calling on your life. Um, huge, huge calling on your life. And with the King of Swords, I just feel like this is all about you gaining your power back and um, making empowered decisions from a place of clarity. The crazy thing is like you already know what to do and how to do this um, because you are very gifted with intuition. Queen of Cups. So you're the King of Swords, the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Wow, you have a, a really great balance. The only thing we don't have here is Pentacle Energy. Let's see if this is Pentacle. Yep, Pentacle Energy. You are well balanced. Once you get to this healing, once you go through this transformation stage, you are so balanced. Like emotionally, you know what the hell you want. Uh, you have a clear vision. You have a Queen of Wands. You are you are actually really too good for this person. Wow. And they kind of seen that. They they're just like, I don't even know if I can measure up to what this person's want. Person's person wants but you're probably like I don't want anything I just want you to love I just want you to try and they just they see you and that that really terrifies them because they know they'd have to change um so yeah the queen of cups the king of swords the high priestess um the queen of wands like you are all of it you're very well balanced and I feel like financially if you're struggling uh to find financial freedom or to get things going or you feel like you're still making your way financially with this Ace of Pentacles here, you're also, that's also what's been blocking you financially, um, is this person dwelling on this person. And then let me tell you, it's going to be a while because they're running from the journey. You guys were coming together on a journey of transformation, but this person just ran from it. Um, and that's, that's another reason why you can't let go is because you guys are kind of attached to this purpose in this journey. They have the same gifts as you, uh, but for some reason they're afraid to deal with that. Also, again, like I said, the childhood trauma and things like that. 
So you're equally balanced. The money is getting ready to come in, uh, a new beginning in money. Now that you've read, now that you've heard this reading, you're going to start seeing things change in your financial, um, your financial assets. You might have a new job offer, but you're going to have a new beginning financially. That's the only thing I feel like you're, you're wandering around to, uh, to, you know, to figure out. But I also feel like whatever creative gifts you have will make money for you easily. But again, you have to trend, you have to go through the spiritual awakening to tap into this power and, um, yeah, this power that you have, <laughs> look inside yourself. It's there. Um, you're really powerful. You know what the hell, you can manifest anything you want to manifest. Um, this is beautiful energy. You're going to be perfectly fine letting go of this person. I feel like you're slowly letting go. The more and more you let go, the more you're going to see your life turn around for sure. So yeah, you have some, even if you are financially stable, I feel like you, you're not uh, creative, creatively fulfilled. So you could be financially stable, but you're just not filling the job. You're like, yeah, I make a lot of money, but is this really what I want to do? So, <sighs> wow. Deck number three, you are freaking awesome. Let's see what your Oracle card is. You can't go back to yesterday. Be in the present. Let's see what this is about. 44. So we have two fours. Fours um, being the fourth dimension as well. Again, having to do with the high priestess, your intuition of such. Let's see. You can't go back to yesterday. In this lovely moment, Alice is being asked to recount her adventures for the Griffon, who longs to hear them and is genuinely interested. Alice would love to share too, but she knows if she talks a great deal about what has happened and where she is from, she will never truly be able to move forward and find out who she is now, that she has changed and is within the world of Wonderland. But for Alice, the thought of reliving the past is no good, as it will not help him know her, as she has changed too much, and therefore her history is not a way to true friendship. Perhaps this is the same for you. Focus on creating new memories, on sharing experiences, on getting to know someone, and letting them know you in the present through observation and conversation. Accept that you have changed. Like I said, you're definitely getting ready to change. I made that very clear. As we change, the simple telling of who we were and what we did is sometimes not as powerful as sharing who we are becoming and experiencing new adventures right in the heart of the precious present moment. Yet, we can share our past adventures and histories, but perhaps you were quite a different person then. So consider adventuring forward and fully experiencing the present with people you have connected with. Your past will spill out of you when the time is right for sharing such things. So... You are more than your past. You have evolved and changed. Oh my God, you've evolved. All right, sharing your history is only to share who you once were. You are no longer the same person. What did I say? Yes, this person is not even gonna recognize you. If you chose deck number three, I cannot wait to see what you guys comment down below because wow, you guys are freaking awesome. All right, moving on to deck number four. Okay, if you chose deck number four, this is your reading. Don't forget to check out the description box below for my Patreon to book a personal reading and to find all the information about learning tarot. So before I get started, deck number four, interesting thing about you guys is that this deck was all over the damn place. So I already know that this is going to be a crazy situation because when I was shuffling, I had to shuffle three times just to get these cards. Um, everything was flowing out. So your overall energy, trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present. Enjoy it. So right off the bat, this is going to be about transformation, letting go, and uh, passion. I can already feel. So let's see what your guys' cards say. Eight of Cups. The Devil. And the World card. Wow. Wow amazing energy okay so right off the bat you have not walked away yet the eight of cups is here usually uh the eight is walking away going in a different direction and change and growth and you're still stuck here also with the devil card in reverse i also feel like you are stuck you could have been dealing with the capricorn you didn't you don't have to be or you could be a capricorn and then the world card here so you not uh, trusting in the transformation is holding you back from discovering the things that you actually are passionate about. 
So this passion actually has nothing to do with you guys. Um, but for yourself, you may have a passion to travel. You may have a passion to uh, move and uh, uh, do anything that has to do with traveling, relocate a different house. Uh, but also with the devil card in reverse, you may have, uh, I guess you can say been blocked. You could be dealing with escapism or codependency. I feel like you guys had a codependent dependent relationship, meaning you were not used to being a, not being around this person. You were probably around this person every single day. And then when they left, it's like they took everything like they you gave them the world. You made them your world. And so what has happened is you've lost passion for yourself and your own adventures. Also, you, uh, I do feel like it was a codependent relationship. Now, I don't feel like it was as much substances or uh, things of that nature because it's the devil card is in reverse. But the eight of cups just tells me that you're stuck and you have not walked away. But whoever this person is, they are preventing you from having the world. And the world we know is, is, is everything. It's that complete, the completion. And so if you're wondering why things aren't really going your way, you're blocked emotionally. Let's see why you can't stop thinking about this person yeah the six of swords you're still living in the past you you haven't made amends with the past and the present um you're still living in the past and it's almost like you're not even like living in the present at all you haven't transitioned from the past mm, 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 mm. yeah So this is all about making the right decision, making decisions, making choices. And it's not, it's not even about the person. It's about you. Um, what's at stake here. If you don't let go of this person is the whole entire freaking world. Everything you ever wanted is literally, um, on the other side of this decision that you have to make. I feel like the love ran out with you guys. You're questioning why, like what happened? I, I feel like this was a sudden type of, uh, breakup or let go. Or maybe you guys are still off and on because you're not making harmony with the past and the present. The Six of Swords is all about transitioning um, into a more present moment into the future. And so uh, also with the, the Page of Cups is like, I feel like you guys had a childlike love. It could have been a teenage type of love or you guys were having fun together with the Devil card and the Page of Cups here, having fun, enjoying life. And then all of a sudden, like things just changed. But you have to make a decision. So right now, there's no balance. There's no balance of you and this uh, the past. There's no balance of present in the past. In order to transform, we have to come out of the past energy. And so what's at stake here is the world. With the Two of Swords, you're called to make a decision. Most of the time, the Two of Swords, they have a blindfold on. So you're going to have to rely and trust on your intuition and your heart to guide you um, along your journey. Let's see what else we have. Yeah. Also, this is all about trusting yourself to make the right decision. I feel like we have a good balance. We have emotions. We have some, uh, you're lacking clarity in the right decision. You don't know what the right decision is. You're going back and forth, but you're also not spending enough time with yourself. You could be a Virgo because the Hermit card is here, but you don't have to be you're not really allowing yourself to got, be guided. So basically this, the reason why you can't let go of this person is because higher self, God, whatever you believe in, is trying to direct you towards the light, which is you. You are the light. Within yourself is the light. In order to trust, you have to make amends with that person, um, which is yourself, and also allowing things to fall apart. I feel like maybe you also feel like you've invested so much in this person. How can I let go now? Like, it's just so much um, that I have to let go of. You may have felt content. You guys could have lived together, had some type of foundation, or were on the verge of engagement for some of you guys, because I have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And I just don't feel like this is the, the person that is going to help you get the world it's almost like a decision that you have to make them or yourself which is the world you are the world you have the world you, nothing is stopping you 
but I feel like you having to make this decision is also finding that passion for yourself, finding that passion for what it is that you want to do. You, you guys also outgrew each other. I can tell you that as well. You outgrew each other, but all of this is doing is trying to point you to yourself and the light that you are. With the Hermit card, you're avoiding it. You're avoiding spending time by yourself. You could be afraid of being alone. Like I said, with this codependency, you might not be used to being by yourself. And so this is creating you to have to, you know, force you to go into Hermit mode and deal with these things and transition. And so this is teaching you also how to transition and make amends with your past. You could have had things that have happened in the past that you still hold on to that are also affecting this relationship that you had with this person. But for the most part, I feel like the, the love ran out and um, it's time to walk away. You didn't, you didn't have a choice. I feel like you might have walked away more than the other person for some of you as well. You making the decision, but still not making amends with the past, still thinking about this person. And it's because you have to make a decision. Um, and the decision is going to be based upon spirituality and trust, the transformation, and not from an ego point of view of what you feel is right. Because you have a codependent relationship with this person. You guys relied on each other a lot. So once you accept that you guys are not together, things are going to change immediately. I feel like the foundation also that you guys had was just not, it wasn't uh, founded enough to actually build something on it. So this is all about finding passion for yourself and trusting in the process. Let's see what your card is. Nonsense. It's time to talk sense. I haven't got this one yet. Let's see what this is about. Sometimes like Alice, you're going to surprise yourself with courage. When someone is being aggressive and threatening, you will need to stand up to them and speak to them in a very firm and strong manner. Much as Alice does to the queen who is overly fond of abusing her power, threatening nearly everyone and relating to people in one way only. Observance, overbearance, if this is taking place with a person or situation within your life, you need to call that someone out on their bad behavior. Like Alice, you do not need to say very much or criticize the person, argue with them, or even point out what they are doing. You simply need to be firm, clear, and direct and cut through all the nonsense that is taking place. If you do this, you will silence them and they can do no harm. They will be so surprised that someone is expressing their personal power and pointing out their silliness that you will be quite safe. Others will be grateful and in time, they too will stand up for themselves. Even though you may not be as powerful as the other person, your inner courage, inner courage when expressed makes you an amazing person who can change the world with the simple refusal to tolerate bad behavior. Courageously standing up for yourself when someone is behaving in a way that is silly and unfair, refusing to be cowed and pointing out a person's bad behavior, not backing down from the truth. Yeah, I feel like that's where the Two of Swords is coming in, is standing up to this person and letting them know, like, you deserve to have more. And uh, to put yourself first by following what makes you passionate outside of this person, because you did have codependency issues. Or relying and depending on this person. So yeah, I think that's all for, for deck number four. You guys just have to focus on making harmony with the past and the present. Moving forward and walking away completely, you might still be dealing with this person and that's why it's time to talk some sense into them and let them know, like, I've been putting, I feel like you depended on them to be your world, like you're everything. And that's why it's leaving you in this place of decision because two cannot stay. That person cannot stay and you cannot stay because there's, an, there's not a balance there. There's not a balance if this person stays in your life. You have to make a decision. And that's just what it has to come down to. So if you chose deck number four, don't forget to comment down below. I'm really interested in seeing what you guys have to say about um, deck number four and what you guys are dealing with. So until next time, I'm out.